What is going on everybody? My name is Radi and you're watching my channel Radi the Brand. Today I want to show you how we can deploy a Node.js application for free on Heroku. Now before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions. It's going to be a quick one so let's jump right on and start not coding but yeah, let's just jump on. Before we begin, make sure that you go to heroku.com and sign up for free. And also obviously make sure that you have a working project. If you don't have a working project today, I'm going to be using a project that we created a few weeks ago. This is the new website that I use Node.js Express and EJS uh, with the WordPress REST API to pull some data. So I'm going to be using this project today. Uh, feel free to follow along. You can go in the description below, find the link and just download it. Once you do that, I've already done that obviously, but once you do that, make sure that you log into your Heroku account and go to the dashboard. Before we begin creating our project, it's probably worth uh, testing our project and adding all the files that we need. So let's do that. First of all, I'm going to open this in Visual Studio code. And as you can see in package.json, we have a few dependencies that we need to install if you want to test it locally. Um, but if you already know that your project is working, you don't have to do this step. So what I'm gonna do is install the dependencies super quickly just to test the project. So npm install. And I've also noticed that I have Node-Mon inst uh, installed here. So I'm going to, and this is a development dependency, so I'm going to have to do npm install nodemon dash dash save dash dev. And once we're done with this, hopefully if we go to app.js, hopefully we should be able to run the app on port 5000. So let's do npm start. And our app should be running on port 5000 now. So if we go to the browser, 5000 you should be able to see that our website is working well. Uh, if you go to a page, everything is coming from the, yeah, everything seems to be working well and we can actually continue. So let's close this. And the first thing that we need to make sure that we do when we upload to Heroku is to actually change the port. So what we want to do is actually use the environment port of Heroku and not set a uh, default one like I have in here. So to do this, we can do dot environment dot port or 5000. So hopefully the Heroku will be running on the environment port now, uh, which is good. And the next thing that we need to do is create a new file, which will be called proc file and this file will basically tell Heroku which uh, file to run, just like we have in package.json, we have startup.js file, which is running when we start our server. So we want to tell Heroku which file to run exactly the same way. And to do this, we can do web column node, and then the file of our app file, which is app.js in my case, app.js and save. Okay, our project should be good to go and we can actually uh, terminate this job and do yes. All right. Okay, we should be good to go with this project. It's all working and we can push it to Heroku. But before we do this, we need to create a new application obviously. So let's do that on the dashboard and let's give the application a name. And I'm just going to call mine something like node.js dash news dash site. Okay, this is perfect. This is available and I'm going to choose region of Europe and create app. All right, our application is now created, but we need to follow a few simple steps before we uh, push the, before we push the files to Heroku. And first of all, make sure that you have the Heroku CLI installed. And if you go to this link here, you will see that they have a simple installation guide. 
So if you're on Mac OS, just follow this. If you're on Windows, you can uh, install the install, download the exe file and install it. And for Ubuntu, you can just follow the command in here to install it and so on. So make sure you install this. And then once you're done, go back and we should be ready to follow the next step. And the next step is actually to create a new Git repository. So to do this, it's very important that you CD to your project. I'm actually already CD to my project because I've opened the terminal, uh, the inside terminal in Visual Studio Code, as you can see. So I'm already in my project folder, but yeah, but just make sure that you do that because it's important. Let's move Visual Studio Code to the right and the instructions to the left so we can follow them. And okay, so the first thing that we need to do is um, initialize Git repository. To do this, we can do git init, press enter. And this has initialized empty Git repository in our project. Now that we've initialized our project, we actually need to follow the second command here, uh, which is Heroku git columns remote dash a and then the name of the website. So I'm going to copy this and paste to save us some time. And now that we have this setup, we can actually uh, commit any changes that we have and push our files to Heroku. To do this, we can do git add dot and this will add all the files. And if you want to commit files, we have to do git commit dash I am. And then we usually need to, uh, when we commit changes to a project, we need to usually uh, give it a description, but I'm just going to copy the one that they have uh, in the example. So make it better. And then we close the quote and then we press enter. So all the changes are now added, committed. And now we can push our project to Heroku by doing git push Heroku master. Press enter and this should take a couple of seconds to upload depending obviously on the size of your project. I do have quite a few files so let's see what happens. Once we're done we should be able to see the build succeeded which is good. Uh, this should actually give us the URL which you can copy and paste in the browser, or you can simply go to the uh, Heroku website, go at the top here and just press open app. And hopefully you should be able to see that your project is now working perfectly fine. As you can see, we are now on the node.js-news-website.herokuapp.com, which is publicly available domain name so you should be able to access this now and check it out. That's pretty much uh, everything from this tutorial. I hope that you found it useful. And if you did, make sure that you smash the like button, uh, comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.